Hey, what is up everybody? It's Deep Tinster here, back with more Let's Play Merger's Misk. What's up, little monkey? Waiting outside the palace. Did say your friend was in trouble or something like that, didn't you? Maybe they haven't said that yet. But that is the case. We're here to help out these monkeys rescue a friend. How are we going to do that exactly? We're going to have to wait to find out. Fall shortcut. I haven't been reading these signs too much. I mean, I know where I'm going, but sometimes it's nice to know what lies ahead. Um, not sure why I'm going to the menu. I already have the mask I'll need here in a second out. This is the Royal Palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. What about you? Are you going to be nicer than that dick? No, you're going to be just as mean. Well, if it's no place for outsiders... How do you like me now, huh? This is the Palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. Oh, I'm on official business, all right. Official saving your ass business. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. We won't be watching you because we're terrible guards, but just, just we'll take your word for it. Well, okay. I guess we'll be good little boys and actually go do what they're telling us to do. Hmm. Nothing too suspicious. This must be the king up here. It's not being guarded very well, so let's just go right in front of him, even though we have no idea if we're an enemy or not. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? I sound like Sean Connery. Not sure why. Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku Princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. What happens? That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Took a good look at his face. Look at him! Look at him! Look at the monkey! Look at the silly monkey! Thumbs up if you know if that's from. Oh boy. Keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Oh, do tell. I believe you, man. S speak up! What about her? Is that all you got to say? I guess so. Well, this is no good, man. This monkey's been trying to save the princess, and everybody here thinks he's like a kidnapper or something. How about you? Do you have a shred of sanity in your head? Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. I guess he does have a little bit of sense in his head. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Well, first things first, stop torching the monkey, and actually focus on what you should be doing to save the princess. I'm not even going to bother talking to his servants, because I know they're just all up rousing rabble, as servants do. Hello again. You monkeys sure like to pop up out of nowhere and just surprise me. Was my brother alright? Mm, let's walk outside for a little bit. No need to go in there. Did you see entrance to cage? Again, Link is making some weird-ass movements with these monkeys. As a Deku scrub, looks like he's, like, head-bobbing or something. Maybe he really likes the music here, because I sure do. This is probably one of the best pieces in the game. Really catchy. Anyway, we know secret route there. Oh, enter secret route from outer garden entrance. But the guard said not to go anywhere else. Oh, need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Why? Is he homeless or something? Understand my meaning. Not entirely, but you're not going to shut up if I say no, so... Yeah, I perfectly understand. Alright. Not going to help me? Just going to run away? The guards don't give a shit about a monkey walking around? Even though a monkey that's been accused of being a kidnapper is... You know what? I'm not even going to question the logic of these guards anymore. You already know that they're... Not the brightest light bulbs in the factory. Okay, so pretty much what we're getting ourselves into here is a little bit of a sneak. 
I don't even know if you'd call it a quest. Just a little bit of a sneak mission. To get past these guards. It's not nearly as annoying as getting past the guards in uh, Ocarina of Time. Ooh, that one actually turned around for a second. Actually, there's two different places you can go in to do this, and there's one that you can't quite get through entirely, as that monkey was telling us. Because we need to find the bean seller, but I can't remember which path he's in, so we're just going to go this way first. I also know that there's a piece of heart by one of these, so even if this isn't the right path, we might at least find a piece of heart. That was too much of a pussy to go there a few seconds ago. Looks like there's some rupees to pick up along the way too. Okay, this looks like where the bean seller is, so... The heart piece is actually in the other path, so... It's actually kind of unfortunate that I took this one first, because I'm just gonna have to go back anyway to get the heart piece. So this is the hole with the bean seller, but where is he? There's actually another little compartment over here. And that's where he is. Hello. And you'll notice that this is the exact same bean seller from Ocarina of Time, so... His product is catching on. Even in an alternate dimension, his stuff is being sold. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. That they do, they do. Mm, I'll give you one free sample, so try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. Oh, is that your business model, huh? Give me the sample and get me hooked! Well, it just so happens we need this to advance the story, so we don't have much of a choice. You can plant them whenever you want. Yes, yes. That's how plants usually go. So, I think you can actually buy another. I'm hoping you can because there's this plot over here that I might use to demonstrate how these work, even though 99% of you already know. So I can't remember if he gives you unlimited, uh, or he lets you buy unlimited pods or not, because I think in Ocarina of Time you are only limited to a certain number. Uh, but anyway, we got a pod. You bring him to these little dirt patches here. We actually need water too, but that's fine. Uh, actually, no, because I have that red potion. And I completely forgot that you need to get water in a bottle to grow these plants. So this potion is going completely to waste. I don't feel like... I, I don't even know if you can get another bottle at this point in the game. I'm, I'm sure you can, but... It's definitely not worth the backtracking and all that just to get it. So we'll sprout our plant. Get some Wawa. And then... Miracle of Life. You just have to put water on plants and they grow within two seconds. If only it were like that. Alright. So we get a nice little chest. I know there's not really much of anything special in here. But it kind of just shows off what we're doing. Maybe that pays for the potion I just used up. That would work out quite ironically, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's all there is to that. Uh, I can't... I think the dirt patch I need actually in the other area so maybe I do have to go back there either way might just be quicker to get caught instead of I mean if you're trying to rush back to the entrance you're probably gonna get caught anyway so we might as well just save a few seconds by doing that it's not like they put you in jail or anything they just kick you out as many times as it takes they don't even recognize my face. I don't even realize I was there like two seconds ago and that I got thrown out and they let me right back in, man. Ooh, this looks a little bit trickier. See this unlit brassiere here? I can't remember if you... Oh, crap! Well, I just legit got caught there. Just focusing too much on what I was saying and not on trying to sneak around. Oh, they do it! acknowledge it. He said, I told you not to go speak sneaking around. But then he goes right back to letting me in anyway. But, uh... I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, this unlit brassiere. I don't know if it's used for something. I doubt it. I mean, all I know of is the one piece of heart in this area. Look away. Uh... I might have to swoop. Ah, man. I think I have to get under where that Deku flower is in order to get out of their sight. Let's see what this guy says, like, fully. Dude, talk to him. Ah, there I go, skipping it again. Whatever. 
we get the gist of it. Okay, be more careful this time. Stop getting caught. He said this wasn't as bad as the guards in Ocarina Time. But it's starting to seem just as bad. Okay, and there are some bushes in the corner here we can make use of. Which we shall. Wait for this guy to go down. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten this music stuck in... Oh, I can't even move past these bushes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He's gonna turn. Dude! Dude! Oh my god, he didn't see me. How the hell did he not see me? He must be the most nearsighted person in the world. Alrighty. A couple more rupees here. Making some bank. Uh, oh, the camera got weird there. I didn't know if I was walking to a bunch of prying eyes or not. Alright, here we go. Some more bushes to make use of. How soon does he turn around? He's there for a while. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, God. Almost spun right into him. Get the heart piece. Dude. Okay. Uh, now get behind some bushes quickly. Because I need to get a sense of where I'm going here. Did I completely walk past the dirt patch? I think it might have been in this last area over here. Yeah, if I remember, there's like these white bubbles that come out of their faces, like in their field of vision. And you can use those to gouge how far away you need to be from them. I'm not finding this dirt patch, though. Maybe it was in the other area. I think this path was just for a heart piece. Okay. I'm starting to forget a lot about this game, I guess. The memories are fading away. When we get into the dungeons, too, I'm going to be doing those... I'm not even going to try to call it blind, because I have played this game quite a few times. And it won't take me long to get a sense of where I'm going, but it's not like I'm following a map or a guide or anything when I'm going into these dungeons, so... It's possible I might get stuck for a little while during that time. YOLO! Oh man, that was close. Where is this dirt patch? I know it's here somewhere. Why would they have us get the bean? Mate, you know what? I think it's outside of the palace, actually. And I'm being an idiot right now. Oh boy, yeah, it's starting to seem familiar. Like you go over here. Or on one of these sides, I know there's got to be one of those dirt patches. I think it's actually... Maybe this side right here. One or the other. Yep, there it is, I see it already. Okay, at least it didn't take me like a whole episode to remember that. Uh, oh yeah, I can't use the beans when I'm in Deku form. So let's just switch out one sec. I didn't get water from that fountain, that spring though. And I can't use this nasty ass water. Alright, excuse me one sec. I gotta go fetch a pail of water. Or a bottle at least. Alright, I'm back and I got my water and it's getting dark outside. Okay. I was pretty sure that this thing stays sprouted, but just in case, I did buy another pot of beans. But, there is some continuity in this game. Actually, there's a lot of continuity in this game. Holy crap. This whole game is pretty much based on continuity. So anyway... Hmm. Alright, so we go down, and now we can actually use these Deku flowers. But, there's a little bit of platforming involved here. It's the closest thing you're going to get to a Mario game in a 3D Zelda game right here. Ah, crap. I should have killed that thing. Because, uh, once you kill it... Uh, crap. Can I land on the same one? Once you kill it, a flower appears under it. So we got to do a little bit of first-person shooter mode. This is like platformers, first-person shooters. This is where it's at, man. Putting all the genres into one. If I can kill this thing, there we go. Man, it's getting dark, and it's the sun setting, and it makes the lighting in here feel weird. It's making me tired, man. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, making me tired. I go to work during the night, and I go to sleep at, like, noon. So my sense of time is all messed up. Ah, another one I forgot to kill. I'm pretty sure I can make it, but... 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, steering that flower can be kind of awkward sometimes. If you ever played this game, you might know what I mean. Alrighty. So, we'll play it really safe. I do not want to fall down. And get caught by some guards and waste a minute progress. Alright, so we're pretty much just traversing these areas where the guards patrol. We're actually crossing over this little area where we came in to the other side. So we're not quite done yet. Ah, You want me, don't you? Oh man, I hate when that happens. There we go. You gotta be kind of quick with these bubbles or else they're just gonna collide with a nut. Nothing good ever happens when you collide with a nut. I hear the bell. You can hear the bell ringing from Clock Town no matter where you are in the world. Unless you're in a dungeon, I don't think you can, but I could be wrong about that, too. I mean, it would be weird if you can... Oh! Ah! He hit me in midair! Son of a... Beep! That's right, I'm censoring my LPs now. Not really. Fuck! See? Told you. Yeah, it looks like you can get over here without using the one in the middle, as long as you don't get hit in midair. Alright, back here on the second half. No, this is why you failed last time. Get into the groove, man. Okay, actually, this might... might the, the one back there, I can see it. That's the one that got me. I think I can skip ahead to this one. Should I risk it? Just hurry up. Oh, man, barely. Okay. There you go, take that, you bastard. Okay, I should be the last quadrant here. Last quadrant. There it is, that's the entrance to the palace, or the secret entrance. Let's get on this. Oh, crap! I forgot this one rises, but it doesn't go too high, so we can still get on it. Man, I thought it was going to fail on the very last platform, man. Alright, let's get into our nice little safe cocoon. A little flower bed. Until we get a little bit closer. It's certainly taking me a while. It's taking me longer than what I thought it would. I thought it would be at the first dungeon at the end of this episode, but it doesn't look to be that way. Alright, pop on out of there. Boom. Where are we at? Oh, we're on the other side of the cage with the monkey. Great. Now I'm trapped too. Yeah, not really. I'm not tied up. That's the big difference. He keeps saying that I kid him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says the same exact thing he says when I'm outside. Oh, wait. He does say something different. Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. I'm not one of them, dude. I'm with you. I'm on your side. Maybe I can change your mind about this. Actually, I can't remember what happens if you turn to a human. I'm going to play it safe, and I think you just have to take out your instrument in front of them. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess! Deku pipes! Thought you were about to say tits or something for a sec. Those will work great! By the way, who are you? Psh! <laughs> nice. Got the attention of the king, that's not good. Well, that's not important now, just listen to me. Man, for just noticing what we're up to, he's pretty calm. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Which monster? Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. You just leave that to me, little dude. Do you understand my plight? Yeah, yeah. So then, that means... You go in my place and save the princess. I didn't say that. I mean, I'm going to, but I didn't say that. I nodded that. There's a difference. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Well, they already know we're talking, dude. Maybe he can't see me because I'm so short. I don't know. Kind of 
Gotta love the little monkey sounds. And then this atrocity starts blaring through. Can't even hear the horns through my headset right now. I got the volume turned down so low. So yes, we have the Sonata of Awakening. And just as its name implies, it's a song that wakes bitches the fuck up. Like a good old strong dose of coffee. It doesn't just wake, uh... People up either, either. Either, either. As we'll see soon. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. No. We're too late. He's gonna die. We better take the shortcut to de the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple. I'm not a Deku. I mean, I know I didn't mention it, but... Yeah, I'm a human. But you must hurry. If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku King. Kinda late, isn't it? I mean, he said begin the punishment. So, you could be on your merry way and go along the temple, but man, that monkey is getting punished! You can't just sit around. He could be dead by now, man. Let us back in. Let us back in. No, I don't care about the royal chamber. And here we see... The horrible punishment that they're putting this monkey through. Oh my god, he's dying! No, they're cooking him! Oh, sweet. Oh, no, he's, he's okay. He's fine. They're just, uh, really torturing him, that's for sure. Get him to try to talk. Don't worry, man. I'll save you. So not only do we have a three-day time limit to get all of this done, but we also have a time limit to save this princess before that monkey gets cooked. But, fortunately, they don't actually kill him until the Skull Kid does that for him. So, the entrance he was talking to us to use is actually this little flower here, I believe. This moves us into pretty much one of the last major areas. This is actually back out in the swamp. Or no, this is actually a different area. This is a new area, never mind. Here's to demonstrate the power of us jumping out of a flower. You can actually hit enemies while doing it, and it kills them like that. So that's nice. You want some too? Come get it. There you go, yeah! Enjoy the afterlife. This place down here, we'll be coming back here later, is actually a spider house. So kind of like in Ocarina of Time, where we're killing gold sculptulas. In this game, they kind of put them all into one little area, and there's two such areas in this game. And you can get some cool stuff from doing them, which we will be doing. I'm getting a little low on time here, so next time, we're going to head up... Oh, wait, no. This owl's right here. He teaches us something, so let me get this real quick. And then we can end this episode off. Ugh, the owl. The infamous owl. Hoot! <laughs> This is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better than you hurry back to town. This swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. That's right, everything you're doing is pointless. Just go. Woohoo! And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close, close resemblance to me? I have, actually. I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land. Wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounter on any of those stone statues... Wait, me hitting him with a sword is proof? Of my encounter? I guess. Isn't there better ways, though? Then the song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it wherever the need arises. 
Oh, the need will arise, trust me. This is pretty much a teleport song. Which would have been really nice in Ocarina of Time, but we get it this game. From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends. Transcending time and place. Oh, okay. Don't want it anymore. I'll pass. Just kidding. We kind of need it. Notes are carved in the stone. So back-to-back -back songs, man. Link is becoming quite the musician here. As if he wasn't already. Do do do. Look at that epic sight reading, man. And there we are. This is the Song of Soaring. And just like Yao said, wherever we find a statue and hit it with our sword, that becomes a teleporting point for us. Which is really useful for me, because i got to use those a lot when I'm recording in between episodes. So I can actually turn my freaking console off in between them. Won't be doing that this time, though. We're going straight on to the next one. See you guys then. Thank you for watching.